I'm Joe Jansen, agricultural economist at the University of Illinois. This is a five-minute farm doc on the Russia-Ukraine war and changes in Ukrainian corn and wheat supply. On the one-year anniversary of the Russian invasion, I review how the war has impacted expected and realized production of and exports of corn and wheat in Ukraine and discuss the impact of these changes in Ukrainian supply for global agricultural markets. February 24th, 2023 marks the one-year anniversary of the Russian invasion of Ukraine. In the past year, the war has caused significant damage to Ukrainian agriculture. Agricultural infrastructure has been destroyed, farmers have had to limit production, and what has been harvested has been trapped inside Ukraine by hobbled transportation networks. This Ukrainian agricultural supply made unavailable by the war is of global significance because Ukraine is a major exporter of grains and oilseeds. While the United States has long made up a significant share of world agricultural commodity trade, Ukraine's share of world wheat and corn exports grew between 2000 and 2020. In the three years prior to the war, Ukrainian exports made up about 15% of world corn trade, and Ukraine was the fourth largest corn exporting country. The story is similar for wheat. As U.S. exports have been relatively flat, Ukraine's exports grew. In the three years 2018 to 2020, Ukraine made up 10% of world wheat trade and was the fifth largest wheat exporting country at that time. How has the war impacted Ukrainian agriculture? Well, lost production and exports have been significant, but perhaps not as bad as initially feared. To illustrate this, we looked at changes in USDA's forecasts for Ukrainian production and exports. Each month, USDA releases new projections for Ukraine and other major production regions in its World Agricultural Supply and Demand Estimates, or WASD. Prior to the start of the war, Ukrainian production of corn and wheat had rebounded in 2021 following a disappointing 2020 harvest that was hit by drought. It was this 2021 production that was unable to move to market after the war began. In the aftermath of the initial invasion one year ago, Forecasts for 2022 production changed dramatically. Initial projections by USDA made in May of 2022 and shown as the start of the orange lines in these graphs suggest 2022 production was expected to be 45% lower for corn and about one third lower for wheat compared to the previous three year average. However, production forecasts improved, especially for corn, so that 2022 corn and wheat production in Ukraine is only down about one quarter relative to the previous three years. The dramatic improvement in the outlook for corn production was in part because through the past year, fighting has moved from the center north of the country, which produces more corn, towards the east, which produces more wheat. Ukraine's corn and wheat exports for both 21 and 22 were substantially impacted by the war. Ukraine typically exports two-thirds to three-quarters of its corn and wheat. Following the invasion, USDA slashed its 21-22 export forecasts. By April of 2022, USDA pegged corn exports at 23 million metric tons and wheat exports at 19 million metric tons, down 32% and 21% compared to the levels forecasted just prior to the invasion in early February of 2022. Cuts to 22-23 export forecasts were more severe. The initial May 2022 global balance sheet saw U Ukraine corn exports of just 9 million metric tons for corn and 10 million metric tons for wheat. Since the summer of 2022, Ukraine export projections for both 21-22 and 22-23 have increased as seen in the blue and orange lines in these graphs. Prospects for improved export logistics, along with increased production estimates discussed earlier, have led to higher 2022-23 export projections, with corn increasing by 13.5 million metric tons to 22 million metric tons, and wheat increasing 3.5 million metric tons to 13 million metric tons. Global corn and wheat markets responded to these changing expectations for Ukrainian supply. After spiking in the months following the start of the war, commodity prices have moderated to near pre-war levels, which do remain high in historic terms. One reason is the resumption of maritime grain shipments in August of 2022 through the Black Sea Grain Initiative Agreement between Russia, Ukraine, Turkey, and the United Nations. However, moderating prices do not mean the effects of the war on agricultural markets are a thing of the past. The war continues to impact Ukrainian agricultural economy, and the Black Sea Grain Initiative does remain a tenuous agreement. Going forward, corn and wheat markets will balance the supply response to high prices occurring in other major production regions with continued war-induced supply losses in Ukraine. Prospects for 2023 Ukrainian production may be poorer than 2022, and they are much more uncertain. The market must also consider how remaining elevated grain stocks inside Ukraine will be incorporated into the world market if and when a peace does break out. All of these factors point to continued market volatility in the year ahead. With this 5-Minute Farm Doc, I'm Joe Jansen.